Bill, what was your uh, first encounter with 42nd Street? Um, I just left drama school and I saw the production at uh, Drury Lane and all I can remember is the spectacle of it. It was so huge. It was the first Broadway transfer right. I'd seen. Yep. I'd seen British musicals um, at Drury Lane, but it was the first Broadway transfer. And like you, I was blown away by the scale of it, uh, but particularly by the energy of the choreography. I couldn't believe that that much dancing could lift an audience, I mean, almost to their feet, mm -hmm. in the middle of a number. I first met Bill on a show at Chichester called Babes in Arms, right. and like 42nd Street, it lit the stage up with energy, joy and pleasure. And as an unknown musical, it became the surprise hit of our season in Chichester, but led, more importantly, to us realising dance could be the star of a show at Chichester. The musical is now being seen as a dance and choreographic entertainment. It's not just a musical. Well, I think you've got something to do with that. It's because Strictly has uh, placed dance at the heart of the nation's psyche. And um, how many years have you been doing? I've done Strictly for 12 years. Yeah. There you go, it's all your yeah. fault. I think like any period piece, you've got to find a clever way of honouring the piece, but looking at it through modern eyes. The way I approach it is, if you honour the style of it, we can go wherever we want. You know, you can't just come up with an idea. You've, you've got to honour the style of the 30s and the 20s and then take it somewhere else. The joy of 42nd Street is that burst of energy. I'm really, really excited about bringing some more style to the show and some more choreography in places where it's not normally choreographed. Our production starts at Leicester Curve, comes to Sadler's Wells and then goes on a UK and international tour. Um, and while touring is the most rewarding of things because you take your work to many audiences, it, it also presents the challenge of how you make it portable. Condensing the storytelling into a slightly smaller ensemble, the pleasure of looking at this with you know, perhaps 30 people on stage rather than 50, is it's less like opera and crowd management and, it, and, and, and it's more like a modern piece of uh, storytelling. When I think of what I'd love our production of 42nd Street to capture, it's, you know, I think of the young man who saw the show at Drury Lane and that burst of energy and skill. I want people to come away uplifted, uh, excited, take people at a difficult moment in their lives and, and lift them up and give them something to dream about. Yeah.